بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد قدم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المدينه والنبي عليه السلام ارايب مدينه المنوره ولهم يومان يلعبون فيهما there were two days where they would enjoy engage in amusement ma hadhan al yawman what are these two days kunna nalabu fihima fil jahiliya this is a custom from the period of ignorance so nabi alayhi salatu wassalam making islah deen is complete for every era and every zamana and it will erase and abrogate every other form of ignorance inna allah qad abdalakum bihima khayran minhuma yawm al adha wa yawm al fitr allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you better days narration of daud better days the eids the two eids so the believers the people of iman do not engage do not get carried away That's why it is forbidden to wish somebody a merry christmas or a happy new year giving christmas gifts to staff to employees is forbidden for a believer hanging lights christmas bells trees anything to do with santa claus even expressing joy on these days lighting fireworks watching viewing fireworks for a believer is far fetched and this is the plotting and the planning of the master devil iblis alam ahad ilaykum ya bani adam alla ta'budu shaytan did i not command you Oh insan don't worship shaitan that is do not serve iblis innahu lakum aduwu mubin he is a clear he is a open it's vivid it's in front of you it is crystal clear so if something which is so clear in front of you what has blind you what has put you in this deception that you cannot see so striking it is not vague it is clear he is your enemy so thus rahman should be obeyed and shaitan should be disobeyed wa an'buduni hadha siratun mustaqim serve me worship me obey me disobey him so shaitan wants humanity to engage in his worship and to disengage from the worship from allah so he strategically he cunningly tactfully disorientates the human being from the worship of allah to other forms of worship So we need to worship but what he does he creates other forms of worship and eventually it is idolizing iblis and shaitan and you will see in most of the forms and connotation it's shirk to allah and it's direct worship to shaitan from sun worship to human worship to idolizing human beings to even christmas if this was supposed to be a christian festival then the son of god who sacrificed himself this is in the christian connotation how much christians become more religious or do they become more drunk more wasted more sin more extravagance look at the baytullah it was pure pristine ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam may sacrifice but by the advent of nabi alayhi salatu wassalam 
inside the Baytullah there were 360 uh, idols in the Kaaba. So this, this concept of Christmas, this concept of Santa Claus is not really Santa Claus, it's Satan's Claus, C-L-A-W-S, because a claw is connected to an animal and an animal has connotations. The goat is connected to the devil, the claws, and a claw is to destroy you. So the claws of shaitan, when, when a, a predator claws at you, a, a vulture catches you in its clutches, in its claws, then you gone, it's game over. So the Santa Claus, the devil, Satan's claws, are there to catch you. So look at the, the, the dua, the prayer for Satan. Does it look strange? Does it look odd? That children go to bed at night praying for the Satan to swoop down from the sky and give the child a reward. Doesn't the Jal own the Jal come and hand out rewards? So the fact that this intoxication begins from a young age where people are encouraging their kids to pray to the devil and expect reward from Satan, Shaitan Iblis. Likewise, this Santa, Satan, he, he says certain words, ho, ho, who wouldn't go, ho, ho. But these words, what, what are, are you teaching the children to say? So if you look at the Roman slogan and requirements of Saturnalia, the citizens at the time would appear before the temple of Satan, which is Satan, Satan, Satan. And Satan was regarded as Baal worship. Baal worship was Satanic worship. And what should they say those days? Low, low, Satan. Low, low, Satan. And low in the Roman translation was Praise, praise, praise to the God of Satan means Nauzubillah praises like how we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. The most important words when we start Surah Al Fatiha, the introduction is praises to Allah. They should say praises to Iblis. Then Santa Claus, Satan's Claus is associated with snow, we'll come to that part, reindeer and the North Pole. Now if you look at just, just reindeer itself, then if you go into the uh, Babylonian history, then the reindeer was a symbol of Namurud, because Namurud was considered as a, a mighty hunter. So the antlers worn on the head of the leader at that time, it symbolized the, the power and the authority of a hunter. And, and this was a, a, a crown to show obedience and ipa'at. And this was the sign of Namrud. So the climax of satanic works worship, the reindeer. So your reindeer in front of you, there reindeer on top of you, on your head, it was a crown, also connected to Satanism. Then let's look at Santa. So a, a jolly old man giving gifts to children, again magic, jadu, black magic. So can we imagine, they, they say the magical Christmas, the spirit of Christmas, the spirit uh, of, of black magic, of sihar, of jadu. So this is promoting again because it's, it's a magical connotation that Mr. 
so and so is going to come from from the North Pole and the, the happy jolly man is going to come it's a magical atmosphere the jal will be magical is a deception so this is a spirit of deception it is doka and uh, in reality there is no magic about it besides the magic of of deception and blindness even if we just look at the the the, the date where isa al islam was born according to researchers and this is their research that uh, the the pasha computers which is a document to have been written around 243 c they considered the birth of isa al islam around the 28th of march and the the clement the bishop of alexandria 215 c he presume that uh, isa al islam was born on 18th of november other researchers have said 11th of september in the quran if we look at it wa huzzi ilayki bi jizin nakhla when the kajur are ripe cannot be in the snow when it's cold so chris mus just look at the word chris mus christ massacre where christianity was massacred why because they brought in the concept of shirk and ascribing partners nauz billah to allah so they said the father the son and the holy spirit and the trinity and christians when they they make that mark on their chest the three and then they kiss the finger it's the trinity and the trinity is a triangle which is a sign of the devil the 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 pyramids was a connotation of 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 satanic worship the the christmas tree we'll get to that point inshallah again the trinity the triangle the tree is a is a triangle so this man flies again do not fly they move in the air then if we look at the this this man here his color his clothing is red so the color of shaitan is red and if you look at a hadith tirmizi abu daud mishkat abdullah ibn umar narration that nabi ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam forbid men from wearing red garments a person was wearing a red garment nabi ali sallam walked past and he greeted the nabi of allah who did not reply to his salam indicating that nabi ali salam was not happy riwayat of imran bin husain nabi ali salam said i warn you against wearing red garments as the color red is the most beloved color of shaitan it is the most beloved color of iblis another narration shaitan loves the color red i warn you against wearing red I warn you against wearing red. Yes, the red devil, the Satan, claws coming in a red garment, and this is Satan himself. Another narration: This is the color of the garments of the disbelievers. Do not wear it. So when the satanists slaughter blood is also part of their symbols and part of their rituals when they have to do jadoo black magic satanic worship they need a sacrifice so the sacrifice the satanists slaughter blood red then the apple that was eaten red apple so eating of the apple when shaitan wants to take people away from allah then he will promise you things so the first if we consider it, the first error of adam alayhi salatu wassalam was eating of the apple so firstly if you look at it the eating of the apple was the promise to love eternally enjoy a longer life enjoy life So there was a tree, the Christmas tree. There was the apple, the red apple, and eating from this apple. So the promise of life, and it will come in different forms, where there may be a disease on earth, 
and they will come with a cure and this cure will make you love longer. Abandon your deen, abandon your masajid, abandon your amal. But this is one thing you must never miss. It is more important than your job because then you, you will not be eligible to work here anymore. You will be deprived of rice. But if you want to live longer and enjoy thus promises. So shaitan made promises and they were all false. And when they butt from this apple, the gifts of deception. So when, when is anybody entitled to a gift? When they excel, they are rewarded. So we have the Christmas tree, which is decorated with these apples. And under this tree is the gifts of deception. So this is an acting, the forbidden act. So on a green tree, which is symbolizing Jannah as well, your greenness will disappear when you eat from it. So likewise, these gifts nowadays, if you look at it and think deeper as well, under the Christmas tree, you have iPhones. So the apple, which is the forbidden apple, once you take a bite into this apple, you're on your way to hell, Jahannam. So he took one bite for Adam salam. How many years of crying, how many years of tears, how many years of turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before his, his forgiveness fell and Allah accepted his tawbah. We are biting chunks of this apple non-stop. How much should we repent? So look at the Apple logo, the forbidden Apple. Look at Android, Google. Google Chrome logo has the red, the, 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 firstly, it has red in it. Secondly, it has the I in it. And thirdly, it has the triple sixes. Look at your, again, we give uh, laptops, we give windows, the windows to hellfire Jahannam. Look at the new Windows logo. It has the one eye, the eye of Dajjal, the eye of the devil, and it has the triple six as well. So we're giving these laptops, these Windows, these Android phones, these iPhones, it's introducing humanity to a bigger devil, the Dajjal. Then this man coming down a chimney, why didn't he come through the front door? Why didn't he knock on the door? Why didn't he come through the window? All houses don't have chimneys. But the chimney is, is uh, a, a similitude to smoke and fire because shaitan is, 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 is made from, from fire. The, 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 the shayateen are made from fire. So this is the coming of the jinnat, the coming of, of evil into that house and Jahannam is, is hellfire. So when you're introducing the devil, you're introducing hellfire into your homes. You are inviting the devil to witness you partake into the great sin. And since you invited shaitan to your house, then when you invite somebody, they need to bring gifts to your house. So the devil will bring these gifts into your home. The same gift that he gave Adam wassalam, which is the gifts of deception, which will take you to hellfire. Nowadays they've taken it to the next level that our center satanic clause is also gay, is also gay. So, and if you look deeper, Santa's popular title in the name that they give Santa is Nick and Old Nick, if you look at the well-known well -known British name for the devil, he was called Old Nick the Devil. So the same name which is derived from the Dutch Nicken, which is Nick, is the devil. Look at the Encyclopedia of Occultism, you'll find it there. Then the decorating trees represented the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden, Paradise. So now we have trees 
that uh, are decorated from the red apples to now it's just glass decorations and sometimes glass apples and sometimes gold balls it's all wamal hayat dunya illa mata ul ghurur it is only all about deception so the people of iman are wise they are vigilant and they are aware of this deception and they make sure that they don't get caught up in this the amal for today considering the gravity of what is happening across the globe and that's i've not come across it in any kitab or book but possibly allah knows best allahu alam bis sawab but if anybody had to celebrate any day during the year which is the most auspicious occasion of the year which is christmas then probably shaitan would have been born during this time year and if he ever wanted humanity to celebrate anybody's birth would be the birth of shaitan would be this day so we need to increase in tauba in repentance in waking up in the darkness of the night and crying to allah for our hidayat and the hidayat of humanity may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin